These footages were color graded with a DaVinci Resolve plugin called Dehancer. It is a film emulation tool designed to simulate the look and the feel of traditional film stocks and photographic process on digital images and videos. This video is not an in-depth tutorial of how to use Dehancer. I just want to show you some amazing effect I love and I will walk you through some of my workflow of color grading with Dehancer in DaVinci Resolve and give you a general introduction so you will know what Dehancer is capable of. After installing the plugin, you can now go to the color page, check the FX effect on the right hand side and find Dehancer, it's at the bottom of my list now it might look a little intimidating but all we need to do is follow the menu one by one the first thing you might want to do is turn off the film grain because it's a little disturbing we will disable this function first and adjust it later now back to the top and choose your input if you are color grading a log footage you will have to choose your source camera and format so that it can do a color space transform but if the footage is already rec 709 or you don't need to do color space transform then we can skip this step here just do some basic adjustment of the exposure and temperature The next part is my favorite. You have a great variety of film profiles to choose from. So you can do your own experiment here. This should give you a rather nice foundation to work from. There is one complaint though. I would really appreciate it if I can just hover over the profile and see how it looks like. But sadly for now we have to select it and see how the effect is. The push and pull will give you some subtle difference in the look. Let's continue with expand where you can adjust the black and white points and control the dynamic range. Next is print, which can imitate the conventional method of developing film in a dark room. Now with color head, we can add a specific color to the footage to make it more distinct. Now back to grain, which we had disabled at the beginning. I think this is also very fun to play with. You can adjust the amount, the size and the resolution of the grain locally. It's all about personal preference. In this digital era where everyone is looking for sharper videos, if you are one of the people who love the nostalgia feeling of film, Adding some subtle grain can definitely add that look. You can also choose negative or positive film type. As you can see, negative film grain looks thicker and heavier, while the positive looks more smooth. I think the next two functions are pretty similar. Halation gives you some red glow at contrast area, while the bloom adds a glowing effect at highlight areas. Sometimes it's really hard to tell which part is affected, 
so you can increase the effect and click mask which allows you to have a clear idea of which part is under the influence Film breath is quite fun to look at you can see once I turn it on the color shifts appear I mean I probably won't really use it but again it is all about personal preference you have this option if it is what you like at the output section we can adjust the overall effect of what we have just set we can also create a lot from everything we have just done so that we don't have to go through the same process every time to me the enhancer is a great supplementary tool there are so many things you can adjust and for each section on the menu usually i only adjust a little bit with the enhancer i think you might want to be careful with the adjustment so that the effect looks subtle but add it all together you can get something that looks amazing If you want to give it a try, there is a free trial version you can download or if you decide to purchase it, you can use my promo code CONSTANTINS for a 10% discount. Apart from the desktop plugin, there is a new iOS version, so you can color grade on your smartphone. But I would still recommend using the desktop version because in order to see those subtle changes clearly, you are definitely going to need a larger monitor. This is the video that I have already published previously, but the previous video was color graded only with DaVinci Resolve, but now the one on the right hand side is color graded with Dehancer. Let me know in the comment which one do you like better. Does the enhancer help achieving that film look? If you have any questions about the enhancer or my color grading process, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.